My name is Alex Sakiewicz. I'm a senior at the University of Idaho. I'm a journalism student and currently doing an internship with the athletic department. The feeling that you get walking out onto the field to shoot is similar to that that you get when you walk out on the field to play a game. You have to plan out what you're gonna do. You have to think about the moves you're gonna make uh, to get the best shot. This camera was difficult and I don't even know if I figured out how to set the white balance permanently on it. On most cameras, there's a setting. You zoom in on anything that's white and then you press that button and it sets the white balance. But at a certain point, you have to focus on the shot. It's best to have your image how you want it when it's time to edit, but you can always edit the colors and whatnot in post. The pace of my work on the sidelines is pretty reliant or dependent on the pace of the game itself. You're also focused on the sidelines to see uh, coaches' reactions, other players' reactions, get their emotional response. And this can be a bit distracting because you get caught up trying to catch the human aspect of the moment as opposed to like the sporting event. When halftime comes around, I really make the point to get off the sideline and go up to the press box to get some food before running back down and continuing shooting. Shooting the game does require a good amount of energy. It just gets a little bit uncomfortable physically speaking. However, you eventually forget and you just continue shooting the game. After shooting the game, I just upload my um, media. I go through it and label it myself. I have to kind of master the show before it gets sent to Idaho Public Television. The main thing that I've learned has been how to edit videos under a quick deadline. Sometimes being too creative is a hamper because after I achieve my creative idea, then I have to assess whether or not it's worth keeping. You have to balance your own artistic ability with the demands that your supervisor set for you too much one way or the other and you'll probably get a complaint. I don't want to let them down. I mean, it's frustrating, but it's also good learning lesson because you know everything you create isn't perfect. And so, yeah, you have to balance your own creatistic... Creatistic? <laughs> there you go. <laughs>